love our new place. I mean, these old Victorian homes have so much character. And I'm glad we were able to keep all the old furniture, the old bedroom set, the old <coughs> dining room. I mean, it's all so, so Victorian. <laughs> I thought I could tell a lot of stories. I hope it isn't haunted. <laughs> of haunted, of course not. And I like it, too. I'm so comfortable here. I mean, it feels like we've always lived here. Do you feel it, too? No, not really. But hey, if you're happy, I'm happy. I love you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm glad we got to keep the smaller bedroom as ours. You know, keeping the master bedroom for our guests will give them a nice, elegant place for their stay, and I couldn't think of a better way to christen our new home than to go check out the bedroom. Okay, I like the way you think. <laughs> Come here, woman. <laughs> what was that? What? Didn't you see that? I thought I saw a shadow move across there. I didn't see anything. <sighs> Come on, honey. Is this because we're in a new place? It must have been a shadow from a car oh. passing by or something. What have you been up to this fine day, my dear? Oh, just usual, darling. I had tea with Grandmama and then went for a stroll to the park. Oh, sounds like a perfect day. Um, I beg your pardon, I've left my watch in my dressing room. I'll be right back. Where did you put those beautiful wine glasses, honey? I left them on the table. Hmm. Hey, Charlie? I had the strangest feeling when I went to the dining room. It I felt like someone else was in the room with me. Really strange. And did you put the tea service out? It's beautiful. No, I didn't. <clears throat> Maybe the realtor left it there. Uh, mm -hmm. little mise-en-scene. <laughs> <laughs> now, bring these glasses over here and let's toast to our new home. I must have left it someplace else. Strange. Where were we? Oh, yes, your day. Sounds perfect. How's your grandmama? Oh, she was in fine form. Telling stories and enjoying all the attention, of course. You know her. It pleases me to know that she has such good friends around here, Colin. I'm delighted for the both of you, my dear. Now, tell me about this dinner you have planned. Ooh. Darling, I have prepared for the most delicious rubbers for us this evening. Well, James, he's in the kitchen preparing it, but I asked him to prepare your favorite roast pork with shallots and asparagus. Mm. Do you think you can find us an appropriate wine to accompany the dinner? Roast ball, my dear, you spoil me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd better go now so we'll have a chance for the wine to breathe. Well, I'm having dinner catered. I didn't think I or we would have time to cook. Good thinking. So what is it? <laughs> well, it's an Italian dish called cingale con pappardelle, wild boar with ribbon pasta. Ooh, wild boar? <laughs> Sounds exotic. You know what? Maybe I'll go to our new old wine cellar and get a good bottle to go with it. Be right back. <laughs> oh my god, Janice, you will not believe what just happened. What? You look like you've seen a ghost. The bottle flew off the shelf on its own. The bottle I was going to get for our dinner just flew off the shelf. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> crazy? Of course it's crazy, but I saw it with my own eyes. Here we are, my dear. Um, no. Strange, strange feeling. Something happened to me down when I was there, down below. I, I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but I had a feeling that someone else was down there with me. Unsettling. It could have been a reflection from the shelves behind you. I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, it doesn't make any sense. Bottles don't fly off the shelves on their own. Okay, all right. Maybe it was a reflection from one of the cases behind me, but I'm not sure. I want to go back and get another bottle. So I'll, I'll go with you this time. Oh, oh my dear. This wine is spoiled. I'll have to go get another bottle. <laughs> Your little experience has uh, piqued my curiosity and spirits. I think I shall join in this time if you don't mind. No, of course not, my dear. Join me. So, well, okay, well, here's an 1850 Merlot. That sounds good, right? This other one should go fine with the boar. Shall we? That's pretty good. What? 
Did you see that? Evan, Simon, God, do you still feel like there's some ominous presence lurking about down here? Rubbish. Let us go back to the dining room, my sweet wine connoisseur. I think you're imagining things. No, you jump right off the shelf. Just by itself. Yeah. But I'll put it. Come here. Are you having another bout of vertigo? Fine. I don't know. You could have made a reflection from another bottle, hmm? Just pick your wine and. Uh, fine, I'll pick this. Ooh, there we go. Come on. Did you see that? Uh, yes, but I don't believe it. I don't think that was a reflection from the shelves behind us. Uh, let's get out of here and open up this bottle. I think. <coughs> yeah, me too. James will get it, dear. That'll be the caterer. I'll grab it. Oh, let's eat in the living room, honey. We can make a picnic in front of the fire, please. Uh, my watch! <laughs> What's my watch doing there? Oh, this does not bode well! Simon, what is going on with you? I do not know! I'm a trifle and settle myself. Oh, my dear, I'm afraid we're in for some mischief! Mis <laughs> mischief? What kind of mischief are you talking about? Penny, where did you get that watch? And where did that other bottle of wine come from? Well, that watch I found upstairs where it used to be in Lance's dressing room, and it looks like the ball had flew from the shelf earlier. What the heck is going on around here? I mean, do we have poltergeist living with us? Well, at least they haven't thrown anything at us yet, you know. They're moving stuff around, seems harmless, you know, playing with us. Playing with us! <laughs> That's just great. We bought a house with ghosts who like to play with us. I wonder if they or he or she ever show themselves to us. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, something. But I have a theory. What theory? The theory that all time exists simultaneously. Einstein said it. I mean, we could be living in the same place as other people, but in a different time. And that's why... But wait. If this theory is true, I don't think we're supposed to be aware of the other times. I mean, we shouldn't be able to see them or feel their presence or know anything that's happening in their time. Does that make sense? Well, what the heck would I know, Einstein? Look, all I know is that there is something strange going on in this house, and I know I'm not crazy. But if we're supposed to be made aware of people from the past or the future, all right, you know what, I'm just, I'm just too frustrated to deal with this right now. So let's just call it an early night and we'll just figure this thing out for you, okay? All right, come on, let's go. Just calm down. Oh, you calm down. Huh. I think I'm beginning to understand this. I believe it all started a couple of weeks ago. We saw that dust flying about. Do you remember? Yes. My dear. I'm afraid we're being invaded by poltergeist. <laughs> poltergeist! The poltergeist live in the house before the current residence, and since this is our new home, it doesn't fit. It couldn't be poltergeist! <laughs> Listen, Simon, I certainly do remember the dust. However, I just attributed that to too many windows being left open by the staff, and good heavens, here you are saying that it's poltergeist, but oh, but wait, not poltergeist. Uh, darling, you're not making any sense. And quite frankly, you're terrifying me. I'm, I'm sorry, my darling. I, I don't mean to terrify you. Perhaps it is my imagination. Perhaps. Why don't we retire for the evening? Tomorrow's another day. Very well. Simon, Simon, you are frightening me again. Simon! Come on! 